Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the toe angle on your on a and pretty much any RC car. So what I'm using is a painter stick. You can use a ruler, but this is the only thing I found that I could use as a ruler or something. And you can like put it up against the wheel like that, and then fly it up against the wheel. And if it's not like touching is the back wheel which right now it is but it's not like the way it should be because there's a gap in between there so try and hold this thing, this thing in my phone at the same time so there is a slight gap in between there and you need to adjust the um, tie rods or whatever they are until the paint the ruler or whatever you're using is touching the back wheel and it, it does not have a gap right there. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust it right now. Uh, okay, so what you're going to need to do is loosen one side of the tie rod so that way you can take it off and then put and then you can adjust one of these at a time. So you can adjust the outer one by just spinning it and on mine, I don't know if it, it probably wouldn't be the same for yours because mine's so old. It, this one, when I turn this, the whole tie rod does not like turn, well sometimes it does but like when I turn it a lot, it doesn't move. Well, the outer one does but not this, that you can see. This right here does not move. So I'm going to turn it one back. And then to adjust the inner one, I use this and some pliers. Just move it since I don't have a tie rod wrench. Alright, so now I have adjusted this one a little bit. I already had this one done. And sometimes I have to take apart the remote and then get down to where the potentiometer is for the steering in the remote to be able to trim it in more because it doesn't move that much when I just turn the trim knob. See like that's all the, that's all the way over I cannot turn it anymore. So I got I'm pretty sure I got it pretty much good. So you can see, I just need to trim it in using the remote a little bit. Which helps. So these one, this wheel, this wheel was like going that way. Instead of being straight like that. And this one was going kind of in like that instead of, well, or it may have been, no. It was like that. So it was making my it was making it go all over the road and I could hardly keep it going in a straight line. Alright, so I just got everything put back together. I got the tie rods or whatever pole put up put back on. I had to do this because I got new um, steering knuckles back a while ago, but I wasn't able to get them on, to put them on because I didn't have the caster blocks or whatever they are. I think I have a package from... Yeah, caster blocks. I just got new caster blocks for it yesterday. And... So I had to adjust the tie rods. That's, what, that's just what I'm going to call them. You know, like, it, whatever. <laughs> but... Yeah. Now they're kind of... They're, I just need to use the remote and trim, it, trim them in a little bit. To get them... Correct. Alright. <clears throat> and also I just got these new wheels yesterday. Painted this body, but the body keeps on the paint on keeps on bubbling up on the body and falling off. But look at this thing. It's awesome. I also have a HPI Savage 2.5 
if I can't get it run by the middle of next summer, I'm going to convert it to electric. I have another frame for the Savage. Got some team associated. I forgot what they are. I haven't gotten it to this box in a while. I have some team associated trucks in there. And then I also have a, a, a HPI drift car under here. Maybe it was one of the old wheels. But haven't tried to get, well, tried to get that one running, but weren't able to. And I also have another Russell, what the heck? My door on the bench is messed up. There you go. And I also have another Rustler down here that I just use for parts. And a drone. More remotes. Legos. Other random junk down here. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Hit the bell. Whatever. You know what to do. Bye.